dear stampers and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating the cutest card using a chocolate Easter bunny. Don't you love it? And how cool is our focal piece around the bunny? We'll be using satin ribbon for that. Let's get started. We'll be taking the circles number two die for the Sizzix Big Shot. There are four circles on this. We want the largest. We're going to put some Ivory Naturals cardstock on that and sandwich this between two cutting pads. Put your sandwich right on the Big Shot machine, crank the handle, and send it through. And this will give us our circle for a bunny. We're going to stamp the bunny in some chocolate chip ink. He will not fit entirely on the circle. His bottom little legs will be off the circle. Then we'll take a Stampin' sponge, dip it in the ink pad, and just rub it around the edge of your circle. Now for the cool part. We're going to take some sticky strip and very carefully go around the edge. And then we're going to peel the backing off. Then we're going to take a 16 inch strip of the pink satin ribbon that Stampin' Up! has in the Occasions mini catalog and you're just going to start it here and see how I'm bunching it up like that? We're going to do this all the way around but I found that it's easier to actually do it by looking at the front so I'm going to flip it over and we're going to bunch up here. As you get to the end with this last piece, you're going to take just one more little piece of sticky strip, just about an inch here. Stick it over the very first section that you started on so we can match up the end with the beginning. And voila! There's our bunny! Now we'll put him aside as we do the rest of the card. The card base is going to be chocolate chip and we'll be using the wood grain background stamp. I'm going to do this upside down. One of Tammy's chips here. Background stamps upside down. Take your chocolate chip ink. Ink it up. You don't need the whole thing. We're only going to do the outside edge. So just flip this over and rub it right onto your background stamp. Gives you a really nice crisp image there. I'm taking some Sending Love designer paper and some Pretty in Pink. Use a little snail to attach the two together. This is chocolate chip taffeta ribbon. A little bit of snail on that and wrap it right around the section that we just did. On our original we used the Pink Sending Love brads. And that's what we'll be doing for our club project, but my shipment of those hasn't come in yet, so we'll be using chocolate chip on the sample just to show you how it's done. So I'm just going to take the paper piercer on, with the mat pack underneath me and pop a hole in the top and in the bottom of the pink and pop the brads in and just spread the backing of the brads. It looks super cute with the chocolate chip too. Then we'll just snail this down. Some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this panel and we'll stick that right on the front. For our Easter egg greeting we'll be taking Happy Easter from Well Scripted. Stamp that on some Ivory Naturals and chocolate chip ink. We'll take the wide oval punch. We want the Happy Easter to be as far as you can on the left hand side. You don't want to center it because we're going to cut some of that off. Then we'll even throw in some stinking cute jelly beans from Something Sweet. This is the clear mount set so we'll stick that little jelly bean on block A and I'll take a little pretty in pink and just randomly stamp that and I'm stamping it actually a couple of times before I re-ink it so that there's several different shades of the pink so it looks like there's some jelly beans up close and some far away. Just around the bottom edge. Isn't that stinking cute? Then we'll just take a little snail, stick that on the bottom right hand side, make sure all of your Easter is over the card panel and then just take some scissors and trim off your edge. Isn't he so stinking cute you just want to eat him? Thanks for joining me today.